The Undersea Science and Engineering Foundation is organized exclusively for supporting, maintaining, and furthering educational outreach for the undersea sciences and engineering in southeastern New England. Collaboration opportunities are made possible by an educational partnership agreement with the Naval Undersea Warfare Center in Newport, Rhode Island. I'm a member of the Undersea Science and Engineering Foundation, a group that was formed approximately five years ago initially by some retirees from Newark and since been augmented by members of industry and the educational community. One of the major programs that the Undersea Science and Engineering Foundation sponsors is a summer program that is called the Undersea Technology Apprentice Program, or UTEP. This current three-week program involving the high schools of Middletown, Tiverton, and Portsmouth is supported by USEF and a grant from the Van Buren Foundation. The program also gets significant support from the Naval Undersea Warfare Center. So Newark runs the Undersea Technology Apprentice Program for local high school kids ages 16 to 18. Uh, the point of the program is to get them involved in electronics and programming. We give them access to the tank, uh, one of the torpedo tanks down on base. It gives them a real life environment to work in. We give them a mission, things that they need to be able to accomplish with a vehicle. We give them a base, a base vehicle that isn't capable of doing that. Then we give them the parts that they need to make a, a stronger, more capable vehicles. Newick engineers are supplemented by a dedicated group of volunteers. Some are retired engineers or come from local companies. They help the students with their technical questions and help them master the technical tasks that are required to build their underwater robots including soldering techniques and mechanical construction. So they build a microcontroller based circuit board. They interface it with an electronic um, motor driver that allows them to use speed control. This is all interfaced with a couple of analog joysticks. Those analog joysticks then give signals back to uh, the computer to allow them to control the speed. We talk to them about things like programming, um, uh, digital control, analog control, uh, they go through two lectures here at Newark. The students are organized into inter-school teams that help them learn team building with people they have not previously worked with. The participants worked a scenario where a container ship encountered rough seas and broke into sections. Some containers fell overboard and have sunk to the ocean floor. Some of the lost goods are of high value. A salvage corporation has decided to hold a robot design workshop. The UTAP teams are hand-picked groups tasked to design robots to determine if a recovery is feasible. The evaluation criteria is based half on actual in-water performance and half on their final engineering report. Um, I heard about the program through my school. Uh, they offered it to sophomores and juniors, and I thought it was really interesting, had to apply. My favorite classes are science and math classes, so I thought it would be a really good opportunity to expand my horizons. I think this will help me out just in understanding what engineering is and what a STEM career would look like and you know what I would be doing if I was to go into a field like this. The most fun part making it and constructing it and coming up with all these different solutions to the problems that we face was really fun but also putting it in the deep tank and testing it was really cool and seeing that what we did actually worked you know we programmed it right and we started it right and we did that it was cool um we got really frustrated <laughs> with um making the motherboard and the motor drivers 
uh, because if you can't do that, if that's not perfect, then your entire robot's not gonna work. <laughs> so you had to solder every little piece and if one thing didn't work, which you don't know what that one thing is, then you can't move on. So it was really tough to get all of that right. It took a long time. Several teachers are also participating in this year's program. They have formed their own team that will compete against the student teams. So I heard about the program from our superintendent from Portsmouth School Department, Anna Riley. Um, she had come in, she knows a few of the retired engineers, and she thought it would be a great opportunity for me to learn so I can bring back knowledge from the underwater robots to the middle school and to the district in general. I teach robotics, the Lego robotics at the middle school, and so we are hoping through this experience that we'll be able to bring the underwater robots to Portsmouth Middle School and hopefully even further it and make it more challenging at the high school as well. More opportunities for science, technology, engineering, art and math at the high school as well. The most fun part is probably making mistakes. Um, along the way we've learned, my partner and I have learned a lot, um, but I would say probably We've had fun figuring things out, figuring out how to do things that we would have no idea how to do if we never joined this program. The most challenging and frustrating part was probably the first day where we started to solder and we were cutting PVC pipes and we were drilling holes in PVC pipes and just trying to figure things out that we've never done before all on our own. That was a little bit frustrating, but we're working through it. And the final exam was for the teams to put their vehicles into the water and see if they worked. The Undersea Science and Engineering Foundation's programs are possible only with the dedicated time of our volunteers and contributors. Please go to www.underseascience.org to see how you can help.